Here's a quick update to the storms that we're seeing uh, new into effect. A wind advisory for all of Connecticut, all of Rhode Island, all of Massachusetts and from 6 a.m. Sunday to 6 p.m. Sunday. So all day Sunday. Wind advisory in effect and uh, winds are going to increase with this storm and I do think more snow is going to come as we can see and just to note where you see here let's zoom in a little more on on everything um you see the blue here uh when you see these green areas that is a w high wind warning so you see the blue it's wind advisory where you see the uh green that is a high wind warning rain starting to to be affecting us with the first system but the second system yet to really develop and um it's coming in later, and snow could break out very soon in parts of eastern. All right, we're just seeing some light rain right now, um, but it uh, keeps continuing, and the rain is moving up in our direction. So, um, you know, very cold, very windy, temperatures in the full, about 40 degrees, 41, 42 degrees right here, and uh, we're taking a look. And so, um, the snow and the, it's not going to snow here where we are located, but winds will increase. The wind's not too terrible at the moment. So not too terrible in terms of winds at the moment, but you do see we have a northeasterly wind, a lot of cold air. It's coming in, so it's very raw, very chilly. Yeah, so right now we're looking, I don't know if you can see, but we have the 850 millibar numbers. Um, as far as the SPC analysis and the temperatures and zero degrees or the freezing point is slicing through Connecticut and up through Massachusetts so um, most of Massachusetts so the potential for watching for snow is there just because it's below freezing at 850 millibars doesn't mean it's going to snow and it's going to be snow but it just means that well, things are cooling down. It's time to monitor the potential for snow. And the snow levels are getting low enough that it's possible with the right conditions, cold temperatures, it can still snow even though the temperature at the surface is above freezing. So it's getting close and a lot of models have been indicating snow overnight tonight in those areas.